Once again, here is David John Oates. David? Hi. I have your next assignment for you. What's that? It is Major Ed Dames. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And, uh, you need to call the network tomorrow. Okay. Get the four-hour program we did with Major Dames this week. Okay. Uh, there were some things he said. Uh, for example, um, I asked him at a very critical moment in the interview what really was going on below Mars, and Ed Dames said, something is waking up. And, and, and there, were, there were some incredible moments in that interview, absolutely incredible. And everybody's been waiting for this, so that is your next assignment, should you decide to accept it. Oh, yeah, I will accept that one. Uh, I, I, there'll be a lot of people very, very happy. I would say of all your guests on your program, Ed Dames is the one I get the most requests for for reversals. And really? Yes. All I, right, well, then this I last... I constantly about him. This last four-hour program was a doozy. Okay, well, we'll get that one going. Um, just to, I just want to quickly... <laughs> I've been a touch upset about the Clinton stuff, I must admit. You know, I went I know. to my word site, and I've, I've searched through it, and if people go to the site, they'll see a whole bunch of pause to their reversals on that one. You know, I can't really win with this. I, I've i analyzed what i found, and that's what i found. And um, All right, look, go to my website, folks, www.artbell.com. Uh, go down to David's name and just click on it, and you'll go right over to his website. And you can listen to these reversals on your own computer. Yeah, there's both good and bad. And let me just stress, my sole and primary concern is reverse speech. I believe I've discovered this incredible technology of, of language that has the potential to open us up to so much and that's really what my emphasis is and um, not a political agenda it is absolutely not a political agenda I it completely I, I can't stress that strongly enough mm. um, and yes sometimes my opinions are swayed about people when I hear their reversals I'm human I can't help that but that's not what my agenda is and that's not what my motive is and I just want to get that right. out as strongly as I can thank you Newt huh thank you Newt Newt <laughs> Now, um, okay. now, now, uh, we had Zahi Owas, the Distinguished uh, Director of Antiquities at Giza in um, Egypt, on the program. Right. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you happen to catch any reversals from me uh, during that program, but I had uh, like 102 and a half temperature. I had the flu. It was really incredibly difficult, but I did a two-hour interview uh, with Zahi Owas, and I imagine you concentrated on Zahi. I, I was just sort of curious what somebody with a fever like that would sound like. Uh, you know what, I, I didn't, and this is one of the few interviews I didn't look at you. I've, I was fine. under such a time restraint. I had all the Clinton stuff going. I had my own practice going, and I really, all I did was Zahi. Um, I, I've got to tell you, this was probably one of the most difficult tapes I have ever done. Um, Zahi? Yes. Well, one of the assignments you have given me. For a start, the guy's bilingual. He's, That's right. Um, I guess it's Egyptian or Arabic. I don't know what language they speak over there. Um, and um, uh, I, there was many reversals I found. Well, when I say reversals, uh, I can recognize reversals fairly well. They have a very unique tonal signature, the sing-song melodious etheric tone. Sure. And I heard many of those characteristic sounds throughout his tape that I couldn't document because I had no idea what he was saying. So I assumed it was in his latest language. And um, it caused me a great deal of frustration um, hearing these things that I couldn't put down. So my analysis that I'm going to present is uh, not the entire picture. It's, uh, it's, prob it's highly likely that I have missed key stuff. Um, okay. The other thing I found was uh, reversals that appeared to be half and half, using half English and half words that I also couldn't understand. So I'm going to play a couple of those. Uh, that may make it difficult, then. It, it may make it uh, tough for us. I, that's, I'm prefacing that by... Uh, I'm, I'm prefacing my presentation of Zahi Uwas with that. But nonetheless, there's some interesting information here. And, All right. Um, let us begin. Um, the your first reversal I will play actually talks about you being sick, and uh, and you'll notice uh, you'll notice you start off by saying, "Well, I'm okay," but no, I'm not. Your voice you, you would change halfway through. Yep. Uh, I am fine. Um, if you don't count, uh, no, I'm not fine. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure to do that. And uh, he says uh, backwards, this dilemma, the dilemma, I'm fine, no, I'm not fine. This dilemma. 
Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he's hearing that and commenting on that. Um, okay, now he's talking about... Um, uh, he, uh, he says, I'm a person with an open mind. Very uh, significant reversal here, a word he uses three or four times throughout this interview. Of course. You know, I, I am a person really who have an open mind. I always try to investigate anything. And backwards he says, bigots seem to doubt. Bigots seem to doubt. Bigots. Bigots seem to doubt. Yeah, I, I heard that. Yeah, he uses the word bigot uh, three or four times. Um, he, he seems to both referring to himself and other people. He uh, seems to have an issue with that. Um, he has an open mind, but other people who are not as open-minded have doubts. And um, now in this section here, and you'll notice you can hear his accent backwards as well as forwards. Um, some of these reversals with his uh, accent backwards are really quite stunning. Um, in this next... Uh, OK, let's just run the next track. Um, you know, the only objection that, you know, maybe this uh, fight that happened for the last two years, that I never really respond at all, it's because I thought that try to respond, maybe it's a wasting of a time. I don't know what the fight he's talking about, and uh, maybe you know that one. No. No. Okay. Well, uh, when he says, uh, uh, you know, I didn't respond because it was, I thought it was a waste of time. Backwards, he says, sending their money, or could be send me their money. I just I don't know what he's talking about there. Send me their money. Send me their money. Send me their money. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, send me their money. He's saying I don't respond because I thought it was a waste of time, but the reversal tells us a completely different reason. Send me their money. Let's do it one more time. Send me their money. Send me their money. Send me their money. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I, I mean, oh, my gosh. <laughs> there are a lot of people who wonder uh, about uh, the whole money thing with regard to Azahi and uh, his position, his job, and uh, many like him in, in the Egyptian hierarchy. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, hit, hit it again. Okay, you know what? I actually, uh, I, I, point of fact, I just pulled up the next one, but we can get back to that very quickly. Um, I actually know absolutely nothing about this situation. I uh, am in total ignorance of anything about this. So, uh, okay, here, here, here it is. Sydney Bermuda. Sydney Bermuda. Sydney Bermuda. Uh, yeah, I think that one pretty much speaks for itself, quite frankly. Yeah, so um, do I. I. I don't need to make any further comments on that. Um, uh, clearly, there is some other stuff going on in the pyramids, too, than what he's not telling us. I've, I found a, a couple of reversals about this, so this is one of them. And what I did for the last three years is working, excavating, trying to reveal the secrets from the sands. Okay, he's working, ex trying to reveal the entrance, I guess. Yes. Uh, it's, it's tough with his accent. Now, this is one of those words, I've no idea what the word means, but it's clearly part of the reversal. There's actually a two-word reversal here. The first one says a word that sounds something like saladrophy, whatever that is. Mm. Listen carefully. I'm, would, I'm sure some people will fax you with what they think this means. Saladrophy or whatever, they hold it. Saladrophy, they hold it. Saladrophy, they hold it. Saladrophy, they hold it. That's a hard one. It is a hard one. And then he says, we froze it. And he actually uses the word froze it again later on in the uh, transcript, something that's been uh, preserved, obviously. Can you close it? Can you close it? Can you close it? Oh, my gracious. That is very, very... That's too clear, and that's, uh, the meaning of that is uh, very clear as well. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, well, these are fairly obvious, you know, when I found them. I, I, I just wish I... Uh, just wish I understood Arabic or whatever language he speaks. Um, Egyptian. E e Egyptian, to uh, to uh, get the rest of the story. But we've got enough in English here. Um, here he is um, uh, talking about a fight, I think, um, with uh, uh, someone. Uh, some interesting reversals around fights he's had with people. He came to see me, and I think if you talk to him again, maybe he will tell you what's happened between us. I think he understood now completely my side. Now, this is interesting. I used him in my story. There's a whole bunch of reversals about using people um, to his own ends. All right. Um, okay. No, I have a hard time with that one.